to ask about uh, the wooden stick. Uh, what was that like today? Yeah, it was cool. I'll say they, they asked her, like, first they're like, Merce, do you mind like trying this out for a few minutes at the start of practice? I was like, I was like, first, like, are more guys doing it? And then when they said yes, I was like, all right, yeah, I'll do it. So um, it was cool. It was obviously, uh, I would like to put some tape on. I was kind of rushed. I didn't have time to tape it up or nothing. Just went out there and one shot, the top of it broke a little bit. And uh, but it was funny, you know, everyone was smiling and it was good. Can you appreciate what players of the past were using as their, that was the technology of the time and what they were able to do? Yeah, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> Obviously, I would have liked to have a little bit of a curve on it and, uh, you know, no flex. It just, <laughs> just pretty much hit the puck and, uh, you know, it was, it was cool to see the difference, but uh, for sure they have a lot of respect for using those sticks. Were you there when Woody decided to put the blowtorch up to this to try and get a curve? Uh, no, I wasn't there when I when that happened, but I definitely smelt it. Like I was walking around and I, I could smell the burning wood and stuff. But uh, I, I actually wanted to try to curve mine too. But once I heard that he had lit his on fire, I, I didn't think it was a good idea no more. <laughs> and just what do you sort of think about the colors and just the getup that you guys were working in today and just how different it is than what we're used to? Yeah, I love the jersey. Obviously, uh, you know, the bright colors are a little different from the red and black, but. Uh, I think it looks really good. The retro is, uh, you know, I, I think it's a pretty cool thing this year with all the, all the teams. And um, I, I just like the match of our colors. I'm excited to see the jersey and the full outfit together. But today was a sneak peek at, uh, you know, what it looked like on us out there in practice. And it was really cool. Thanks, mate. Got to ask you about that wooden stick today. What was that like? <laughs> uh, well, it was flat when they handed me the stick. And, I, and I wanted to put a little curve on it. So How'd that go? A, so I took a blowtorch to it and I lit the stick on fire. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it was um, it was kind of weird um, shooting with it. Uh, you know, technology's come a long way since uh, the days back then. Um, but I think my dad probably played with that stick <laughs> at some point. Um, did you not realize if you used a blowtorch on a wooden stick, it would go up in flames? Well, you have to like keep it at the right spot and I was a little too close to it but uh but yeah the wooden stick it's uh flammable <laughs> tell me about like trying to aim with it I mean I know you didn't use it in practice but just like when you were warming up <laughs> yeah it was hard um you know the it was super flexy uh the, the flex was not right at all uh the blade was weird I, I broke the blade off of a slap shot um technology has changed a lot does it give you an appreciation of what players in the past were able to do in this game playing with sticks like that? Well, back then, that's the technology and that's all that they knew at that point. So they thought it was great. But when I look back on it and try to use it, I just don't get how my dad played with it or or uh, Tails or all those guys or Coach Ruff played with those sticks. I just didn't, I just don't know how they did it. But um, yeah, it was kind of nice to put it in perspective and um, I'm just thankful that we have great technology now. Thoughts just on the whole gear, obviously not wearing the jerseys, but like working in the pants and all that. Just thought it's very different coloring. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, in the past, we've had the green pants and uh, jerseys, but uh, you know, I actually really like these. They're um, they're super cool, and um, you know, it's a unique look, and um, can't wait to wear them. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. So, Lindy, first of all, new new get. What do, what do you sort of think about the the coach's gear that you guys get? Oh, well, the uh, players were giving me a tough time about it, but. Uh... I'm not fussy. <laughs> <laughs> what about just seeing, you know, the guys working some of that gear, how that looked? And then the wooden sticks, I have to ask you about. <laughs> yeah, well, some of us played with the wooden sticks, so it brought back good memories. Uh, you know, that's just where hockey was. Uh, you know, you go back to these original colors and the, uh, the wooden sticks and, um, you know, technology for shooting pucks now was so much better. So it, uh, I think when they looked at them, they had a good laugh. <laughs> Is it is it much harder to you know shoot with those types of sticks? I saw them trying to shoot and aim, but a little bit off there. Yeah, with a, well, with a straight blade, uh, very little flex. Um, I was just telling you, the, you got to give the guys that use those a lot of credit. Um, I know a couple guys wrote McGill on their stick. I, I don't know what that was about, but. <laughs> I think we can venture, I guess. Um, obviously, you know, just going into the hockey stuff, John Marino not on the ice. Do you have an update of what he's dealing with and sort of what the situation is right now with him? Yeah, just uh, day to day. I kept him out of practice. We'll see how he's doing tomorrow. Uh, he's got an upper body 
issue he's dealing with, and uh, we'll see how that feels tomorrow. And then certainly having Kevin Ball as someone who you can slot in, but today at practice with Ryan Graves, that's two left hands. Is there any concern there? Uh, not really. Kevin's really comfortable playing uh, the right side, uh, so really don't have a lot of concern uh, with, uh, with him going over there. And what is the challenge um, that you see when Nashville comes in here tomorrow? Well, again, I think we've got a team that uh, is trying to find their game. Uh, you know, they probably thought they'd be off to a better start than they are right now, and I think uh, those are always teams that are desperate, they're dangerous. At the same time, there's areas of our game that we, you know, we thought we needed to work on today, and I thought today's practice was uh, what we needed, uh, especially with the schedule we came off uh, in the last 10 days. And with that schedule, you know, you're constantly in that rhythm. So what is the challenge when it sort of comes off a little bit where you're not necessarily playing every other day? How do you sort of keep that? Well, you know, I think the one thing you focus on is trying to get better in, in different areas right. of the game. And, uh, you know, a little bit of our rush defense, uh, you know, I thought we could have been better, uh, you know, in, in getting able, just being able to practice that for 10, 12 minutes, uh, show some video this morning, uh, get, get back to really what our strength has been, and that's puck pressure and, and our play away from the puck. Have you watched any of the World Cup so far? I have watched, and I've never really watched soccer before, but I have watched some of the World Cup. Um, you know, our guys have it on everywhere, they're talking about it, it's, you can't not watch it. And, um, so I thought there's a couple of questionable offside calls. <laughs> Who are some of the players that have been the most involved in watching the World Cup and talking about it in the locker room? Uh, you know, I see uh, the Europeans are big. Uh, I almost had a bet with uh, Thomas Tatar. We, he was going to give me a, a goal and a half when they played Canada, and uh, I wanted two. I should have taken it. Yeah. Because, yeah, I should have taken it. But uh, I thought Canada needed two goals, but they didn't. I thought they played well that game, but... Uh, the team's goalie made a big save early, and you know they end up losing that uh, first game. Do you have any thoughts on who you think might advance further or win this World Cup? <laughs> I have no clue, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I mean, I, I watched a little bit of the U.S. game yesterday, uh, you know, and I, I, you know, I've heard them talk about it, how young the team is, and uh, how the coaches brought that group together and the challenge, and uh, you know, qualifying for the tournament, and then now, you know, getting out of this, being able to get out of the first round. Uh, so I guess the you know this knockout round, you know the, it really is a challenge for the U.S. to get by that. So uh, I I think I'll watch the game probably. It, uh, you know I think I think when you get a little bit of, you get a little bit of the fire to, to watch and yeah I'll be rooting for the U.S. I gotta ask just on the the Canada side. I mean you've coached at the Olympics, you've done it at that level. I mean obviously it's different, but. What do you think the, the pride was for someone like John Herdman to get that team to, to where they are on that stage? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, everybody was was really proud that they, that they got to where they were at and really how well they played in the first game yeah. and, you know, could have had an upset right off the bat but but didn't. And uh, But I think there's a lot of great things that come out of getting there and playing the mm -hmm. way they did. Thank you. Thank you.